Hello and welcome to this video which will provide you with a quick overview of what is new in the One GMS. Let's start with the creation of an allocation where three fields have changed. First, the project code abbreviation is automatically generated. Then the emergency type. You can now select the emergency and emergency type the allocation will target. If several emergencies are selected, the partner will have to distribute the budget among the emergencies in the overview tab of the project proposal. Finally, the allocation grouping allows you to select the group your allocation will be part of. Regarding the project proposal, more changes have occurred. Let's see what they are tab by tab. In the overview tab, the organization sequence is a new field automatically generated once the project is approved. It indicates the number of projects created by the organization on the one GMS for a given fund in CBPF and across SURF. In addition we find the emergency type where the partner can distribute the budget if several emergencies were selected at allocation level. In the log frame tab, you can now add at least one outcome indicator to your outcome and select global output indicators. If a sub-implementing partner is linked to an activity, it will be indicated by this icon. However, the field additional targets of the 8 plus 3 template was removed. In the work plan tab this icon next to an activity indicates that a sub-implementing partner will implement the activity. The previous affected persons tab is now called people targeted where two different types of tables are to be filled in. First, the project total table with a breakdown of people targeted by category, gender and age. And then, a table per cluster with a breakdown by category, gender and age. In addition, there is a persons with disabilities breakdown into category, gender and age in both tables. And indirect beneficiaries is now detailed into the total number of indirect beneficiaries as well as the description which was already required. The other info tab present in the 8 plus 3 template was removed and its sections disseminated in the 1 GMS project proposal form. The accountability to affected persons and the GAM sections can be found in the programming tab. The risk management, exit strategy and coordination sections are in the implementation tab. And finally, the sub-implementing partner section is in the new subgrants tab. There are no more budget breakdown in the budget tab. Moreover, the DS field was removed. Instead a new field unit description was added as well as a new section to see the budget distribution by sector. Right below, the budget value reference table references all the thematic budgets indicated in the programming and the cash tabs. The new programming tab tracks cross-cutting themes and the effectiveness of humanitarian programming, including all pillars of localization, protection, gender equality and persons with disabilities. The cash tab differs from the previous cash tracking tab. The user has now to fill in a table that gathers the previous field's objective, conditionality, and restrictions. In addition, the partner will add the total amount of people targeted per CVA type. If a CVA is used in the project, the number of beneficiaries is automatically added as a standard indicator in the log frame tab. Moreover, four questions were added to this tab. Firstly, the partner must indicate the total number of people targeted with CVA activities and explain the choice of CVA interventions. Then if the CVA type is other than a multi-purpose cache, the partner will have to explain why. Finally, if there are no CVA markers for the project, partners will have to justify this choice. The following two tabs are completely new. In the implementation tab, the user will be able to explain all the implementation and coordination measures of the project. 
Second, the subgrants tab allows partners to enter all sub-implementing partners. Sub-implementing partners will be mapped to both the budget line items included in the budget tab and the activities they will support in the log frame tab. In the locations tab, users need now to fill in a table for each location and cluster per location. They will provide for each cluster per location a budget percentage, at least one activity, and a breakdown of people targeted by category, gender and age. Apart from the allocation and the project proposal, the One GMS also changed the way tasks are displayed. All the tasks you can perform at a certain stage are now accessible from here. This button will redirect you to the task page where you can click on the action you wish to perform. To avoid overlapping and mistakes while you work on a project proposal, the One GMS let you know how many people are working on the same project as you. If you hover over the icon, the system will display the user that is on the same session, the duration and the number of active sessions. This is the end of our video. If you have any question or comment do not hesitate to contact us.